Hey everybody, I have some paints, some new paints today. So previously you've seen this one already. This one is the Gensai Tambi gem colors. I purchased this at like a, like an art show or I don't really know. It was like a stationary show maybe. It was extremely expensive though because there was I guess like import fees with that. And then these three I got on Amazon. So this one I saw a really nice review on through YouTube. It's called Corambi the Watercolor Paint Set and Six Color Metallics. This is the only one that came with like plastic packaging, so I'll remove that and we can take a look. Then, oh, I already opened this one because I want to take a look, but inside is, so this is the Coloro brand. And the Coloro brand is quite similar to Fine Tech. I think it's the same parent company. Um, there's a video, I'll link it. Um, it is by Christina Werner, and she goes through a lot more information about these paints. So I got this fairy tale set. So it says here, Carillo fairy tale set. And when these came, they were all out of the pans. They were all kind of like that and moving around, so I had to put them back in. But they are removable pans. I was deciding between a lot of different types on Amazon. There's a lot to choose from in Amazon. And I went with this one because it seemed like there would be more colors I didn't have, but I think I made a mistake. But anyways, the last one I got was this one, which is Fine Tech, and this is the one that comes in a metal um, container and this one has the most number of it has the most number of paints in it and this is the one that I thought was most exciting but now I have realized that many of these colors are the same so let me open this one so this is the Gansai Tambi again and then the the Komorebi. It's actually called Mozart. And it comes like this. It's like a little information here of who you tell. Oh, I didn't know that they were like a small company. It's cool. And then it comes, it looks really similar in packaging to the Gansai Tambi. And similar in price too. I think this was about $10. These ones don't look, I guess these are handmade. I'm not sure, but there's a lot of colors there. And then if you take a look at the colors that I selected, they are, I guess I have a good, like there's overall a good selection of paints here. Oh, I also have two more. So these are the two pans that I bought in Japan. This one is more of like a, it's like a clear gold. I don't know if that's helpful. And then this one is just silver or like platinum. So just based on, like, so I really wanted, I actually was thinking of getting the fi um, this one, which is this, the Colero, um set that's well known, it's the one with all the golds and the metallics. I was thinking of getting that, but then I saw this one was pretty well reviewed. So I got this one instead, but you could see like some of these colors are really similar. Like, these two are quite similar. This is more of a yellow gold, but like that one is really close to these two. And even, I guess maybe this one. And then this like silvery one is quite close to this. So mostly I want to use these for, yeah, I guess I could use these for my like journaling or not journaling, my, I could use these for my agenda and planning, but mostly I wanted to use the pointed pen for them. So I got what pointed pen, which very new at still, but I would like to letter with this and practice using these metallic paints. So I'm going to do, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to, I'm just gonna swatch them. And I don't have any like special paper, I just have some black paper. And 
on this lined paper. I guess I'll just use that. It's like not very scientific, but I have a dropper of water and I'm going to put one drop, maybe two drops. I'm just gonna use a paintbrush, swirl it around a little bit. So first we have Coloro. This is the fairy tale set. Show up quite good. I think maybe I'll just use white paper. This one's a lot wetter than the other one because my paintbrush is wet now. Uh -uh. So it doesn't look great on white, does it? Or it's just too watery? Again, I'm very not scientific. Not very scientific. Well, one swipe looked pretty good there. Japan, just the ones that I got from Japan. It's like pretty creamy paint. So you can see that. So I got the gold. And then the silver. Was not impressed with the silver on white, but I guess we will see. I think this is more of a pearly iridescent, not really silver. So this one is the Mozart. Do you guys prefer this? Oops, got that dirty. Do you guys prefer this type of pan versus the circle or circular ones? Which ones do? You, oh wow, this is actually it's nice on white and black. But yeah, um, comment if you like this style of paint 
in the rectangular pans or but then also like this black packaging or would you prefer the plastic or the metallic or yeah, the metal kind interested I do have a preference I think for me I think the metallic one is the best kind of packaging but this paint is really good it's quite nice for the price too I didn't do much reading on this or this company at all and I didn't realize that it is also they're handmade I guess yeah so like Moe's art are it's Saf and Mo, and they create art supplies for artists so it has been sitting here quite that little um, been sitting a little while. Oops. Keep messing it up. And then the last one here. Silver. Very impressed with these. Now we have the Gansai Zombie. I don't know if it's just because they've been sitting a super long time, but they're perf these are performing quite well compared to my previous use of them. I do remember the pink not being great. So maybe they just have to be sitting for a really long time. Oh, I remember this gold being my favorite. This gold is really nice. Keep forgetting his not a black pen. Oh, it like absorbed it already. Whoops. dry a little bit drier now so first I swatched this one pearl colors fairy tale by Corillo color Colero. and the colors are here so we've got sterling silver rose lavender unicorn blackberry and silver gray they look really nice on black and white, I guess, after it's dried. Can't really tell that one as much, but it's nice. Then I swatched these two, which were from Japan. They just came single pans like that. 
definitely much better on black than they are on white. Then afterwards, really, the reviews online are quite good on this product. It's this one, the Karambi Mozart. Mozart Komori B. I don't know how to say this. Um, but it is the watercolor paint set with the six classic metallics. And they look very beautiful on paper. Although when it dries, it kind of has this textured. There's like a textured look at it when I look at, like when I see it in person. There's a bit of a texture on these and like the other ones I don't really see it so much. I don't know if you guys can see that it's captured at all, but it is. A little bit bumpy. And the Gansai Tambi, I think these are pretty much dry. So the Gansai Tambi is on top. I actually fared quite well, I think because I let the water sit for quite a long time. So the Gansai Tambi looks set, it looks like this. And the packaging is in this plastic and paper or cardboard, the gem colors, I got gem colors. They also have this one in the metallic, like silvers and golds. And also they have one that is, hmm, I don't remember, I think this is like the more of the, this is the gem color and then they also have one more, they look maybe more chalky, I don't remember. I actually don't remember, but I purchased this one because I wanted all the color, different colors. And so both of these palettes have more colors. And I thought maybe they would be pretty similar to the second palette, but looks like I got a good amount of um, color. So with this one, I'm not sure if I just ended up using maybe a little bit too much water, but I would say in this one, the purple and the pink they didn't, they're a little bit patchy, purple and the pink. Green maybe as well. So the best one from this set is definitely the gold. The Gansai Tambi is the best one is the gold, like hands down. Then finally we have this set, which is from Fine Tech. It's got my favorite packaging here. It's like very sturdy, everything feels great. And this is the packaging it comes in and it kind of tells you the colors in the back. So with this set, you get 12 colors here. They're all very metallic. I really like some of these duochromes. So this one's so interesting. I thought maybe I had gotten some of the black, so I swatched it twice, but it's just kind of like a, mm, it's hard to explain. So this one is called Mystic Color. And so sometimes it looks green and then sometimes it looks this like brownie, reddy, reddish brown color. It's pretty cool, duochrome there. And then I think the other one that's a duochrome is this blue silver probably. So the one right beside it, or the one like this one. I don't, can't really tell much of a difference. Well, yeah, I don't know. But I definitely really like this gold here. This one is crystal gold. It's super saturated and very yellow gold. But those are the metallic paints that I have right now. I don't think I'm getting any more. I think this is a lot. But what do you guys think? Do you have these paints? Do you enjoy using these for writing. I'm gonna try to have, to, I'm gonna do another video on my attempt to use pointed pen with these. Maybe if I can find even thinner paintbrush, maybe I'll try brush lettering, faux calligraphy maybe. So yeah, these are the paints that I have in my collection right now. Also, I'm supposed to let these like air dry, just open because you put, if you put water on them or they might get moldy. Let me know what you guys think. If you have these, if you want to get them, 
my recommendation for sure is if you want to get started this one get this one the Corambi watercolor paint set I think this is the best one all right thanks so much for watching I'm sorry it was like a little bit it's like my first time doing a video like this I hope it went well thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you in my next video bye